Let's assume you're working with your old PC or laptop, then for instance go out and buy a brand new PC, but you don't actually want to deal with all the hassle of moving over all your files and settings to your new device. In order to achieve that, there are a few different methods out there. For instance, you could do it the old fashioned way by using an external hard drive and simply transfer your data to such a drive and then copy those over to your new PC. Or if you don't want to miss any of your files, trust me, it can happen. You could also use third party software that specializes on this task. Now with Windows itself already come integrated tools for that, but some people might find the Windows jungle to be a bit overwhelming and there's no reason to be ashamed of that. While there's tons of software out there that offer such functions and do a good job, I will be showing you how it's done with the Ease Us to do PC Trans software since the developer Ease Us actually sponsored today's video. I'll guide you through step by step and believe me, anyone can do it. By the way, by sponsored I mean I do get a little bit of money by showing you how this software works. And this certainly does help my channel financially, even if it's only a little bit. After all, my expenses for PC hardware aren't exactly low as you may imagine. But now, let's get to it. So for today's example, let's just assume I want to make the switch coming from my laptop or rather notebook to a desktop PC. A requirement for this to work, of course, is you need to have Windows already installed on your new device. Step number one is going to your old PC first. Visit the Ease Us website and search for the software named To Do PC Trans and download it. Basically, there's also a free version available, but please keep in mind that it would only allow you to transfer a mere 500 megabytes of data, which is close to nothing. Luckily, there's the pro version. That one comes in at a price of 50 US dollars right now, and that's the price for a full one year license for use on two PCs. There's no data transfer limit. Luckily, you could also download yourself the trial version. But today, for the sake of completeness, I'll just show you how things go with a paid pro license. For that, I just download the free version. It doesn't matter since we'll be able to enter our license key later anyway. Then just go through all the installation steps. You can also choose from several different languages, even German. But I decided to go with English since German might be a little too hard on most of you. It doesn't take long until we are already greeted by the tool. In the upper field, I therefore enter my pro license key. To the left, we basically see three methods of transferring our files from one PC to another. It's either PC to PC via a network connection, which however could end up taking quite a while, then a transfer via image file, and following that, there's also a different option to migrate locally installed programs onto a different hard drive in order to free up some space on your main drive. There also happen to be some extra features such as system cleanup to basically clean up and remove leftover files we no longer need from countless Windows updates for instance. But this is not what it's about today. My preferred method is by going with the image file. Since we happen to be on the so-called old PC, we'll have to create an image file. By the way, it is recommended to create and save the image file onto an external drive. In my case, the external drive immediately got recognized so we can continue. After a short while of analyzing, we get a rough estimate on how many programs and files need to be transferred. With each of the options, we can go for user-defined customized settings. In theory, you could also save the settings and data of your local Windows user account. Now that won't be easy, but we'll do it for science. So once that's done, we hit create and this is where the waiting part begins. Since I currently have a super old external hard drive plugged in, the whole transfer will take a bit longer of course. I will fast forward that part for you guys. After roughly 30 minutes, more or less, the transfer is complete. The image file is now located on the external hard drive. This brings us to part 2 of our mission. We now need to go to the new PC and install the same Ease Us tool there as well. Just like I did on a laptop, simply install it and eventually enter the license key if you happen to have one. Now don't forget to actually plug in the external hard drive from before. Then select the method image transfer once more, but this time instead of create, choose recover. In a matter of seconds, the software automatically detects the correct image file on our external drive. 
You could even go for a customized recovery here if you want. So if you don't want everything recovered, no problem. In the end, just start the recovery and wait for it to successfully complete. In the background, you might notice that programs are being installed and all your personal data starts appearing. And yeah, with my slow hard drive, I had to wait about 30 minutes here too. The final step, the software asks you to restart your PC. And right after that, we are pretty much done already. What I unfortunately had to witness is that my specific personalized Windows settings haven't been transferred over. All my folders I had on the desktop are there, but all shortcuts of applications I had in there are not there. No trace of those. But what matters is that my personal data actually is all there. Not a single tiny file has been left behind. So that's good news. I also find it convenient that everything is put exactly in the same spot or directory where it has been on the old PC. Some programs, mostly free ones, have been moved over successfully and they start without any problem. The majority of programs, however, have not been transferred over, which sure is a bit disappointing, but somewhat understandable from a technical point of view. The most important thing anyway is the fact all our data is there, exactly in the right places. So this definitely is no cure all type of software, but especially for novices or for people that simply don't have the time for such a transfer, a solid solution. So all in all, the ease us to do PC trans tool can be considered decent. All my data is in fact on the new PC now. With that being said, thanks once again for watching and I hope this video could give you a bit of an idea on how this all works.